All right, let's do this. Yo, what's going on, good people? Once again, my name is Craig Bailey, real estate agent with EXP Realty, Forex Trader, Stock Trader. And today's episode is going to be a gym, okay? So this is going to be for the people that want to start their business. They want to get business funding from the ground up. So I'm going to show you and teach you how to get your business certified and validated so you can go out there and make huge purchases and open up those big lines of business credit. So let's get started. I'm not going to waste no time with this one because this one's going to be deep with, uh, with some content and kind of how to and where to go. So pay attention. Um, if you miss anything, of course, this is going to be on YouTube. So if you miss anything, just pause it, rewind it. And um, if you have more questions, you can hit me up. You can go to my website or you can just contact me directly, Instagram, anything like that. So I got three screens going on. That's why I keep looking. You know, I got three screens. If you know my setup, you know I got I'm always here, 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 here and here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to share screen out and we're going to get going. So uh let's see so let's get going um share my screen out so that should do it oh all right so let's get going so the first thing we're gonna do before you do anything with your business is you want to go to name check so name check is where you can put in your business name idea and see if anyone else has already grabbed it so like mine diamond of well right let's see if that's on there I'm not a robot so mine mine's already taken diamond of wealth right but what they did was they spaced it out and you can buy certain things like that so you see the little um, hyphen not even hyphen the little dash that's what it is so whatever business name you got throw it in here see if it's already taken and if not then you're good you can just buy it and now it belongs to you Okay, so first thing you want to do with your business, go to name check. Check to see if anybody else has came up with that idea or that business name. Okay. All right, so once you go through name check, now it's time to start your business. Right? So Inkfile, there's a few different websites. There's Inkfile, there's LingoZoom, um, and there's many more out there where you can kind of leverage uh, the creation of your business. I use Inkfile. I've used LegalZoom before, but I had to dissolve that and build a new one, and I used Inkfile. Inkfile's, Inkfile's legit. Oh, wait. I'm not going to log in. My bad. Let me go back. Let me go back. Oh, let me go back. Can I do it? Will they let me? Okay. So, Inkfile, let's start, start a business. So, here it is. So, what you want to do... Most people start off with LLC, but I mean, you can do S Corp, C, C Corp, nonprofit, depends on what you want to do. So we're going to pick LLC and then you pick your state of formation. So I'm in Texas. So let's go down to Texas. Boom. Just like that. Just like that. This will populate. It'll give you three different options to create your business. Of course, you got the silver, gold, platinum. I recommend the gold, but you can, of course, do what what's feasible or what works for you so the gold what what includes in that is you have your EIN they'll give you an EIN right you'll have your operating agreement which is going to be crucial you will have your banking resolution uh, you'll have a email support team business bank account so with Inkfile what they'll do is they'll have someone from Bank of America call you and set up a business banking account which is which is dope so you don't even have to go out and do anything, any extra steps. It's all built into the package of gold. So again, the state fees differ, of course, self-explanatory. Texas, California, Florida, Alabama, Oregon, whatever state you're in, it'll fluctuate. So take a look at this. This is on Inkfile. As soon as you put what company you want to create and the state, it'll populate and generate down here. So the good thing about Inkfile as well, uh, you'll have a uh, accountant, you have a personal accountant. So they'll call you, you'll get their phone number. You can set up uh, any appointments that you want. If you if you have different business ideas, like you have an LLC and it operates in a certain way, but you want to acquire another business, you can pitch that. And, um, and yeah, you can rock with it like that. So also through Inkfile, you can get a business... Um, uh, virtual business address so that's good as well so if you want to go through gold 
you can just get a business address as well. So you don't have to do any extra steps. But if you don't want to do that, then I have another option for you. There's a place called Regis. And what Regis is, is the virtual, virtual address. So when you set up your business, this is key. This is key for future funding and just look professional, right? You want to have a virtual address so it looks more professional and you can kind of put this on different applications. So we're here to virtual offices. And let's see what they got. Virtual office options. So they have business addresses, virtual offices, and things like that. So with our creation, we're going to go to business address. We'll buy now. And let's search for a virtual business office. So let's go San Antonio, San Antonio, Texas. Boom. Let's see what they got. All right. So there's eight different locations in San Antonio where I can place as my business address. So the fees are here shown in, what is that, teal, ocean, ocean blue, ocean green, whatever. So these are the different options. So you click one. So St. Mary Street, wherever you are, you click one, and then you can actually view the location. You click one and you buy it. And then what you can do is you can go back to Ink File, and they have a place where you can input your business address, or you can send Ink File an email and have them do it for you. So if I want to buy this one, I just take this address right here and then send it to them like, hey, I want my virtual address or I want my business address to be as such. And there you go. So this is key. This is very, very key. So then the next step on building out your business the, way, the right way is you want to go to listyourself.net. This right here is the 411. Okay, so listyourself.net and you want to list your business. This is crucial when you're trying to apply for those credit lines on your business side. So in listyourself.net, you want to go to the national listings. More info. So with the national listings, there is a fee. Uh, the up the up front cost is $60, right? You, you just want to list your business. It's $60, and every month after that, it's five. So it's not it's not bad, not too bad at all, right? So you sign up here, you list your business. Okay, so when you list your business, they'll ask for a your EIN, which you got from your ink file, they ask for your business address, so the professional one that you just bought from Regis, okay? And then what they're gonna do is they're gonna ask for a business phone number. Okay, so this is this publishes your business as a credible business on these major websites. Google, people can Google you. Um, when you ask for lines of credit, the vendors or whoever you're, whatever business you're doing, they can look you up and verify that you are a credible business. So what they also, also ask is a business phone number. So where you go, you go to phone.com. Phone.com is where I went and it's, it's very simple, very easy to manage and things like that. So phone.com, plans and pricing. So the best thing to do is to get an 800 number or an 888 number, okay? 800 or 888. And here are the basic plans right here. So wherever your business falls under, whatever you need, I mean, you can, you can pick which one accordingly, okay? So just showing you where to go, phone.com. There's others too. There's like uh, Freedom Voice. There's um, Call 8 with a K instead of a C. So Call K-A-L-L-8 and Freedom Voice. So there's different options. But the point is you want to get a business phone number and you want to get a business address. It can't be your home address because then you'll get you'll apply for lines of credit and they'll give you like $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, $4,000. Cool. I mean, if you're in business and you want to make some flips, you need fifteen, twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars, fifty, up to hundred k, even past that. So this is this will set you up. So again, let me let me rewind. You can pause it. You need a business phone number, phone.com. Then you need a business address. You can go to Regis, get you a business address, virtual address, and with this you can have it forwarded to your. Let's say if you're a uh, 
your business uh, is a home-based business, you can just have it go here, and then you can forward it to your home, or you can go pick it up. Either way, either way. Point is, get one, right? Get one. Simple as that. Get one, and then once you have both of those, you want to go back and list it. List it. Now you're credible. Now you got a business phone number and a business address, and you're good to go to go apply for those those business lines of credit. But before we do all that, before we go out there and try to get the the big lines, we gotta go through our tiers, okay? So tier one, let's get some of these net thirties. Let's get some of these net thirties. So I'm gonna hit you with the trifecta that's been tried and true and proven to for fast approval on net thirties, and it's just it's just simple, it's easy, it's almost instant funding, right? So the first one's Uline, Uline.com. What you want to do is you want to go to uline.com, create an account, and you want to create a business account, okay? So this one's mine here. I got an invoice out, and um, and yeah, let me, I'm not going to go to my account because I think I'll show some of my information, but diamondsofwealth.com, you'll, you'll create a business account, and then the key to know that you're going to, that you want to apply for a net 30 is there will be an option on payment. The payment option will be invoice me. That's the key. The key is invoice me. So what that means is they understand that you're applying for a business line of credit and they'll send you an invoice and you have to pay that off within 30 days. So net 30 means whatever balance you accrue, you got to pay it off in full in 30 days. That's what net 30 means. Then there's things like net 60, net 22, net 16. The number just means that's how many days you have to pay off the balance in full. A lot of times people won't tell you that. They'll just say, go get a net 30 account and you can pay it off whenever you want or you can pay partial. No, no, no. You got to pay in full whatever the number is, 30, 60, 16. But we're going to talk about net 30s. So Uline, create an account, business account. Uh, have it shipped to you. You can do that. You. So you put your business information in there, right? You put your business address, your business phone number, um, your business name, and things like that. But you can have it shipped to you. So if you're a home-based business, there you go. Have it shipped to you. Uline's one. Then we got Quill.com. That's another net 30. I'm going to explain why you need three in a minute, why well, you need three net 30s to start off. So Quill.com, same thing. You want to create an account and you want to make sure it's a business account and then you place something in the cart that you want to buy. So I'm going to fast forward then I'm going to bring it back. Okay. So with all three of these net 30 accounts, you want to buy something that's over $75. So the product doesn't necessarily have to be over 75. So if we look here, let's say you want to buy these, um, Easy Peel address labels, you have to buy enough for it to be over $75. The total amount has to be over $75. Let me explain. Let me put it to you that way. So you don't have to buy like, oh, dang, this is $64 and this is $180, so let me buy this. Nah, you can buy this with this, with that, or whatever, right? Every Any combination, but the total has to be over $75 because that's the way it'll report to your, on your business credit that's the key it has to report to uh experian business and equifax and um dnb duds and brad right they don't they don't look at purchases under 75 dollars they're like whatever because it's your business account they're like whatever it's 75 dollars. if you buy one of these it's like all right whatever you can buy that that's cool i'm not going to report it but if it's over 75, then they're taking you a little bit more serious and they're posting that on the business bureaus. So that's the key. That's a major key. $75 and up. Buy it. Put it in the cart. Buy it. You got 30 days to pay it off. Okay? That's what all three. So go to Uline, put something in the cart, buy something or a mixture of something over $75. Boom. Buy, go on Quill, set up your business account, buy something or mixture of something over $75. It's 
so it can report. Okay. And then the key, the key is when you go to the payment, when you go through your cart, you go to the payment method, it'll say invoice me. Okay. You do not have to put any credit card information on there. Invoice me. Major, major key. All right, let's move on to Granger. So all of these are kind of um, uh, business supplies. So Uline and uh, Quill and Granger are all business supplies. Of course, right, you have a business. So find something that you actually need or actually will use, or if you actually need it for your business, then that's even better. So Granger's a little tricky, though. So what you want to do with Granger is you want to set up a business account, right? They'll send you an email. All three of them will send you an email to your business email that you created through Inkfile or um, whatever means that you use. You want to have a business email because that's also part of your credibility. I forgot to mention that. So to improve your credibility, write this down. To improve your credibility, you need a business address, a business phone number, and a business email. Gmail, Yahoo, AOL, that don't count. Okay, and I say AOL because my mom and dad still use AOL. I have no idea why. AOL has been out since I don't know when, since since the Walkman or something. I don't know. It's been out for it's been outdated for a while. Okay, so that's the three things you need to be to be credible. And then once you have those, of course, we're hitting these um, uh, tier ones. Okay, Granger. Let me go back to Granger. Sorry. Granger, what you want to do is you want to set up an account, right? And you want to hold off on putting anything in the cart. So Granger's a little tricky. So they'll send you an email, and they'll say, "Hey, we're um, we're reviewing your account and things of that sort." So what you want to do is you want to hit contact us in the email, and you'll go back to Granger. There'll be like a screen where it has like email, phone number, all that stuff. Call them, pick up the phone, call their customer service. And you say, hey, I'm trying to buy X, Y, and Z for my business. This is my name, all that stuff, my business name. And I want to open, I'm trying to apply for a Net30 account. They'll be like, okay, got you. So what we'll do is we'll connect you to the credit um, department. And they'll give you a call or hold on, let me patch you through. So they'll patch you through. And they'll say, hey, we're going to send another email to you. And we're going to have a form. Fill out this form. You'll fill it out. You'll send it. You'll click submit. You know they'll say thank you for applying for a Net30 account. Okay, you wait until they give you a net. They'll give you another account number, and by then you're good to go. You're good to go. So then you'll come back to Granger. You'll find something that you need for your business. Put it in the cart. Again, over 75 bucks, right? Put it in the cart. All that good stuff. And then you'll have the payment option because if you do it before, um, if you don't do if you don't do it this way, your only payment option is a credit card. Again, we're not using our credit card right now. We're not using any credit card. Invoice me. Invoice me is not populated until after you do the contact method. Contact them. Let them know you want a net thirty account. They'll approve you. Um, and then uh, invoice me will be will be an option for you. And then there you go. Then there you have your invoice me. And you're good to go. So now we, we hit, we created our business. Uh, our business is credible. Of course, there's fees with it. So just be mindful of that. Um, so our, our business is validated and all that good stuff. We have our tier ones out the way. So now we're going to build our business credit. So when the invoices come, Pay them off as soon as you possibly can. Okay, don't even get close to 30 days. Just pay them off as soon as you possibly can. And you don't have to use any of those accounts anymore. Okay, that's the good thing about it. There's no, these aren't revolving. These aren't revolving credit cards because it's tier one, right? And it's net 30s. But once you buy something and it reports on your business bureaus and you pay it off, you're good to go. Your score, you're in the game now. And then after that, I'm going to make another video on about um, tier twos and what else you can do with your business credit. So that's building it up from the ground, making sure your business is credible. When, 
went sort of fast, but this is going to be posted on YouTube, so you'll be good to go to pause and um, ask questions wherever needed. Um, and if you need to take it one step further to build business websites and business graphics and things you just want to outsource, I advise you hit up this website called Fiverr. Fiverr is gold, okay? So this is where I go if I need some help. If I need help building a website, I need help making um, a t-shirt, I need help building my logo, um, SEO, uh, social media marketing, any type of marketing I need, I go to Fiverr. Go to Fiverr, type in what you want, and nine times out of 10, 10 times out of 10, there's somebody out there that's doing exactly what you need to be done, okay? So that's a gem right there. If you need, it's once again, it's Fiverr. You can click the link below. I'm going to have a link for Fiverr and things like that. So you'll be good to go. So that's a quick, quick crash course on how to build out your business the credible way and uh, how to get in the game. Because a lot of people are asking me, hey, where do I go for this? Where do I go for that? What did you do? All the apps, all the um, things I showed you on the tab. All that I've done personally. So I've done all of them personally. There's others out there, but I'm not going to speak on something that I haven't done myself. That's what I pride myself on. So that's what I've done, and that's how you can get your stuff, get your business up and going, and then you just build out from there. So I'm going to have some other videos for you, um, how to take some next step, but this is kind of the groundwork for it. So hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully you guys take action. And if you have any questions, again, Hit me up on my Instagram, or you can email me, you can call me, text me if you have my number. I have my business website up. You can, you know, inquire about something like that. But, uh, but yeah, that was a good one. Again, pause this, rewind it, whatever you got to do, because all this stuff is true, and you can build your business up and get that big credit score. Um, not big credit score, that nice business credit score, and you get big limits on your business credit line. So... Once again, my name is Craig Bailey, man. I'll see you guys later. All right, I'm out.